Welcome immediately back into some more Pokemon. We got caught at the end of the last episode. So let's take on Hiker Justin here. Tiger guys are almost always ground type, so hopefully Shelly will just blow through them. I was wanting to use some super potions before we ventured forward because uh, our poor little Shelly is uh, taking on some... Uh, We've had a lot of battles. <laughs> we'll put it that way. There's been a lot of battles with uh, with no stopping yet. So, bronzer. I think we keep out. Or was okay. A little dark, super effective. So, I was like, wait. I think grass was not effective. Dark is so. Threw me for a loop there, Justin. Alright. Let's now heal our... Come on up a little bit. I don't know, like, how long it's going to take me to get through this game. Like I said, I'm just going at my own pace. I don't try to 100% anything, really. I mean, I have in the past, and it's never worked out, so I just kind of... I just play the game at my own pace and uh, see how we go about. So I have no clue how long this is going to take. Uh, these Pokemon games can be pretty lengthy at, at times. really just depends. Who is this dude? According to one theory, Mount Cornet is where the Shino region begin. A newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded. There should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find the state of things to be deplorable. My guy's just like, that guy was weird. <laughs> I wish I could just... <coughs> I feel like there's probably something in these, in these rocks when you smash them, right? I don't know why Bidoof knows all these moves. Why it's like Bidoof is doing everything. If I would have known that, I would have named him something. Oh well, whatever. There's been a ton of, uh, ton of stuff. Buddy, I am probably comparable to you in size in real life. <laughs> Actually looking at you? Yeah, more than likely. Take that, Jew, dude. Hey, Starflower leveled up. Nice. We're gonna learn life do? Okay, what's life do? <laughs> Not much. Uh. Sure. I'll give it a helping hand. 
I'm like, does Jirachi not learn any cool moves? Is that why you get it at level 5? Is there a... Uh... Pokemon... Shining Pearl... Jirachi move set. Um... It's not like until... <laughs> not... It it learns some really good TMs, but it's not until like 70s where it actually starts to learn some good moves. Okay, it learns Zen Headbutt <laughs> at 28. That's pretty good. That's be its next move it learns. Like, that's a pretty good move, Zen Headbutt. And it learns Psychic, Meteor Mash, Future Sight. So it does learn some good moves on its own. Oh, well, Future Sight's 70, so yeah, that's where it gets... So it will learn some good moves on its own, but it can be awesome and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, it'll learn Zen Headbutt here soon, and then it will actually be somewhat usable. <laughs> out for a second. Just a random Pokeball, okay. I'm like, didn't it tell us at one point there could be, like, Pokemon or something hidden in these? What's up this way? Some karate kid. Black belt Kyle. That noise. What was that noise? I'm running low on uh, razor leaps here. I still like power. The next speed. Huh, so you must be able to unlock rock climb in this game at some point. <laughs> Ombi. Nice. I always like the final evolution of that Pokemon. It's like the big queen. Swap out some Pokemon here. Oh. 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 
not very effective. I will say, though, for only having two gym badges, I feel like we're really high leveled up. Like, we're almost to, like, level 30. Like, in my my past experience with Pokemon, I always felt like by the time you hit level 3, you're just entering the 20s. <laughs> right? Like, level 1 is, like, what? Like, ends, and then badge 2 is, like, somewhere in the mid-teens. I could be wrong, though. But that's what it always felt like. Or at least, like, you know, to me. Vital throw. Vital throw do. Um I don't think so. I don't like the idea of it it's only seventy, but it never misses, but I don't like the idea of it makes it go last. Not a fan of that. Thought process. Um Gonna pick up all the berries. Eventually I'll use berries for something. Everyone seems to call me the berry master. I hand out berries daily because I want people to learn how wonderful they are. You're deserving of one. Thank you. Anyway. Um, interesting. Do you got the, what, it far-fetched or the one that paints with his tail by any chance? Oh, Mr. Mime Jr. Interesting. I think bite should be effective. Yeah, that's what I thought. Bonsley? I'm not sure what that Pokemon is. Oh. Like the Pseudo Wudo baby. Right? I don't know. Maybe that is the case. Maybe Gym 3 is supposed to be around in the 20s. Maybe the Gym Leaders beef up <clears throat> similar to what you are. But I feel like we've just been able to like battle so many people. Our Pokemon's gotten really strong. Okay, cool. I feel like our Pokemon's gotten really strong um, early into the game. Because like when you run into the wild Pokemon, like our Pokemon's like what almost ten levels higher than it. Yeah, literally ten levels higher than it. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe just being like, I'm going to battle everybody I come across. It was just like, ooh, Psyduck. We got a Psyduck, don't we? I think we have a Psyduck already. Find out, we do. Just because it's super effective. Um, so maybe that's just me. But uh, yeah, I feel like we've, we've unlocked... Oh, no, unlocked. We've like grown way faster than the game intended us to. I mean, if you look at some of our, our bottom end Pokemon, it's not as drastic. But maybe it's also because we've kept the same Pokemon the entire game. And now there's a skill sharing. Um, we made it.
Hello. Hi, friend. Oh, thank goodness that you happen to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far away my Buneri could have run. Baby Buneri, back into the Pokeball you go. I'm Kira. I'm a super contestant show judge. Please drop by the contest hall so I can help thank you properly. Um, what way is this way? What's in here? I have a long way to take part in the super contestant show. I've given my Pokemon a lot of poffins. Okay. So basically, it's just blocking our exit way. So we do stuff. But yeah, maybe that's maybe that's what the issue is. Maybe we've uh, just um, maybe we've just uh, overgrown our uh, our area we're in. Sorry, please excuse moi. Are you entering a super contest show? <laughs> Enjoy yourself, please. Incidentally, Fantana, the Hearthworm gym leader, also happens to be a super contestant show expert. And you may ask yourself, how do I know this? Well, I'm Fantana. Fantana. Fantina. Fantina. You may challenge me, but not yet. You must become much stronger than you may challenge me. I have a feeling I can mop the floor with you. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, maybe it's because we've like held on to our Pokemon so long. I don't know. Oh, my hero. Oh, hi, Mick. Wait. No, really. Joanna is your mom? So you might be a super contestant show star? Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to Mick about super, super contestant shows. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Oh, yes. That's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Please, take this sticker. Could you do less? Place that sticker on one of your ball capsules before the show. It will lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a show judge. Come join us for all kinds of fun. I'm. If you're unsure of yourself, we also offer practice sessions. Okay, Joanna, I'll see you. Were you surprised to see me, Mick? I got bored, so I came to Hawthorne, Hartholm, for a little vacation. I'm just surprised to see you here, my dear. But are you serious about entering super contestant shows? Not dressed that way. It's your Pokemon's time to shine, so you shouldn't be dressed your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. I don't want to do this. I'm sure it'll look good on you. After all, I chose it. Go enjoy the contestant show, honey. Shows will give you a different look at many charms of Pokemon. It should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye, Neo. <clears throat> You're going to enter the Super Show contest, but I don't see a Poffin case. It could be tough for you to win a contest without one. But if you're determined to enter one, don't let me stop you. It wouldn't hurt to go get some practice in at the counter to the right. No, I really don't want to do this. Coolness contest, beauty contest, cutest contest, clever contest, <clears throat> toughest contest. Nope. 
<laughs> yeah, not really my forte. This, uh... There's Dust Gym. Didn't we walk by the... Ralph. Ta-da! Kept me waiting again, Mick. Let's see how much tougher you and I have gotten right here, right now. Hey, you're a trainer now. You're expecting to be ready for battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get the show started. Bring it on, Ralph. Without Starly. You still have a Starly, you bitch. <laughs> die. <laughs> um, can't remember what type of Pokemon this is. Water, ain't it? Ain't it a water Pokemon? Yeah, I'll show you something wicked too. Must be. <clears throat> Kind of hurt. Excuse me. Rosalia, switch, wingo. <coughs> These are beats. I apologize. Throws out Wingo. Throws out Rosalia. Hit it with that wing attack. Kill it real quick. And when it throws out its monkey, we will uh, throw out Safty. Take that. Mega Drain. Yes, please. Uh, Mega Drain will replace Leafyage, right? Yeah. Yep, let's do that. <laughs> yep, switch. Monferno. I don't remember what Monferno looks like. I think I have an idea in my head. I know what Infernape looks like. Infernape's cool. I had an Infernape, I think, in Heart Gold. Okay, that's what it looked like. Bulldoze that bitch. Ouch. Kind of rude. Yeah, Ralph, you're a chump. <laughs> Oh, what happened? You're telling me I lost? Yes, Ralph. Exactly what I'm telling you. <gasps> hey! Get a Graveler now. So we could get a Golem at any time if we wanted to trade. I got a buddy who's got Pearl, too. Just reach out to him. Hey, I want to trade real quick. I want Golem. I'll play with Graveler a little bit, though. You came to my team again? This messes me up my dream of becoming the greatest trainer ever. No, I just need to get tougher and keep winning one day. That's it. I'm going to challenge the Vilestone Gym next. See round, Mick. You'll be blown away by how much tougher I'll be next time we meet. I think so. I don't, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be that blown away there, Ralph. More blown away by where the fuck is the Pookie Center? There it is. <laughs> I was like, it's got to be around somewhere. But uh, I'm going to heal up my team. 
that's where we're going to bounce. When we come back, we'll talk to all these people, figure out what we're doing in this town, and uh, so on and so forth. <clears throat> so if you guys would be so kind as press that thumbs up button and subscribe, go a long way helping the channel out. And like I said, this is probably going to be a long series, so strap in. See y'all next time. Peace.